Welcome back to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Jack Ramlick, continuing our series on water rescue. And today, I want to talk a little bit more about the Aqua Eye Pro. Now, most of my expertise is in surf and in swift water, but we all know people find unique ways and places to drown. And we deal with these incidents a lot in flat water. And I want to go over how the Aqua Eye Pro can be used in these bodies of water to locate these victims. Now, in flat water, like lakes, ponds, or quarries, access might become an issue. We might not be able to get a lot of those resources we're used to using where we need to get them, especially marine assets. A lot of our lakes, we just don't have a marine asset out there. What's great about the Aqua Eye Pro is it's a really versatile piece of equipment as far as how it can be deployed. You can deploy it from shore, you can deploy it with a swimmer out in the water, or you can deploy it from a marine asset if you do have a boat in that body of water. Now let's talk about what that scan's gonna look like. The features of some of these lakes and quarries can vary as far as what sort of debris and large objects you're looking at down on the surface where you might find a victim. During these search and rescue operations, we're not always looking for a human body underwater. It's pretty common that we might be looking for something like a vehicle that entered the water. And what's great about the Aqua Eye Pro is the echo mapping feature, where you're actually gonna get a live view of that sonar screen and be able to differentiate between what might be some debris or a large vehicle underwater or the human body. Now remember, anytime we're working in flat water, access could be a significant issue. This might be the only piece of technology you can get to that scene to assist you in search and rescue. So if we're utilizing sonar for our search and rescue operation, be sure you're using it effectively. Think of a flashlight beam. That flashlight beam needs to illuminate your subject to be able to see them. Sonar works the same way. It's not gonna be able to penetrate any sort of debris and see a potential victim on the other side. So get as many angles as you can with that sonar to develop an effective map in locating your victim. So today we talked about utilizing sonar technology in flat water environments. Now remember, access can be an issue. This might be the only tool you can get to that scene that's gonna assist you with the search and rescue operation in what could be some pretty murky water. For Fire Engineering's Training Minutes, I'm Jack Ramlick.